So our children, Nigeria is disadvantaged. How can you do a race with a man who is already on the mountain top? You know what I mean? And you're in the valley. That's with us and America and United Kingdom developed country. They say, on your mass, go. How can you be on a man who is already on the mountain top? Of course, you know you fell. So Nigeria must devise a new means completely of solving our problems. Rather than this following every day. After they finish with radio, we'll copy that radio. They finish with a transmitter of 100 years, we'll, we'll go to that one. When they finish with analog, 100 years later, we'll join analog. We have to leapfrog now and join them where they are, whether we are qualified or not qualified. So our education must be tailored now to suit our ec economy because today we have doctors who are bankers, engineers who are <laughs> who, are, who are not mechanics. So we, we have challenges in this country. There are some of the changes Nigeria should respect. But when Buhari embarks on these changes, you hear Nigerians again shouting. Thank God the man is not a man you can move. I hope you have to hear him first before you know where he's going. He will keep quiet and listen to you. When you finish, if he said, to go back. But he must do that. So he's a focused leader. We need a leader like that now. Even his presence alone will tell you to behave well. When the man came here and, and went through the traffic light one day with that passing all the governors started to burn traffic light. That's leadership. He's not the leader you go and say, have you ever had somebody that somebody went to Buhari to give him money? Go now. <laughs> so things have begun to work well. Change has started. But I'm talking about those changes that we need to address a bit to help. But the most important one, if I talk about corruption, is agriculture. Our brothers from the north, you have a role to play. The north can feed the whole of this nation. In the 1960s, agriculture was the mainstay of our economy. It gave us over 70% of employment and over 75% of foreign reserve. Today, all you came and deceived all Nigerians. Today, who are we? Oil dependent nation. Imo states depend on, my local government depend on Imo states. Imo states depend on federal government. Federal government depend on oil. Depend, depend, depend. And yet we say we are independent. Nigeria is only a political independent nation by expression but economically we are still dependent our youth is only in Nigeria you see young boys it's only in Nigeria you see young boys roaming around the streets chewing sugar cane in China you see their colleagues running without clothes going to factory contributing to the economic development of their state and when those boys produce toothpick we import it here I'm sure change will stop importation. 100%. We will not die. When one door closes, another door will open. So Nigeria, be prepared for change. Not just expectations. Of you must have this, have this without also referring to the price you have to pay. Everybody must make sacrifice in Nigeria for this nation to grow. Thank God, Aoudo Ogbo is a minister. And he's a man who has been preaching about this agriculture for so long. I hope he'll bring it to bear. And I know he'll do it. Time will not permit me to scroll about the controversial issues of corruption, which I call primitive accumulation of wealth, and what to do. Time will not permit me to talk about prevention rather than cure in our security pursuit. Now we're addressing, we're addressing the issue of this mosop in the southeast before it gets out of hand that's what is called prevention in anything in life prevention is cheaper than fighting time will not also permit me to go out the other critical areas but let me say this while i exit for this time i have some few minutes to say with all this said my greatest joy 
is that the right leader has emerged. All we need to do as a nation is to support him in prayers and cooperate with him. We must see this government as our own, irrespective of political party affiliation. It's not a government of APC for APC. It's a government of Federal Republic of Nigeria for Nigeria. And this is a new spirit with which I speak to you. But I believe that in the next couple years of years to come, and I had wished that President Buhari will continue in this way, and I pray this right direction has started, telling Nigerians the truth, no matter how bitter it is. Because a lot he spoke in India, and some people were wagging tongues because he said the truth. Before we plan, we we'll plaster, deceive Nigerians. Why well, will not deceive you? He will tell you as it is. That's the change that the president. I believe that very soon, not this time from now, this our green flag, green, green white green, will fly over America. Couple years to come, fly over India, over Singapore, over Germany, commanding the commerce of those areas. I know that one day, one day. Not too far again from now. Hope our youth again will no longer claim other nationalities. They will hit their chest and say they are Nigerians. It's my prayer that one day we shall all sit in the table of brotherhood and sing that old national anthem. Though tribe and tongue may differ in brotherhood, we stand. Though I believe that one day, that though we came in we do respect to our founding fathers who came into this restaurant of Nigeria where we saw a big board eat everything for our forefathers have paid for it unfortunately we, they didn't pay all for us but we're now eating drinking the oil shortly again as we're exiting from that door we shall see a new big board which is the pay for the future generation we have to make sacrifice Sacrifice now and now too. But I believe in all this. Nigeria again will be a great nation. And we'll have a cause to sing Arise, O Compatriots. God bless you. I think we can do better. A better round of applause for the man Owen Rogers of Korocha. We can do better than that. We can do better than that until he gets to his seat. All right, thank you very much. You can now sit. Grand Commander of the Nigerian Masses, we salute you, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. We have, um, with the permission of Mr. Chairman, we'll uh, take uh, the discussion and we'll make it very brief um, in the spirit of how we do it on Radio Nigeria. 60 seconds is a lot of time. Time is money. Um, we have two discussants and I will be inviting them we we'll also have some reactions from um, the um, floor, and we will take the reactions as they come. First on the chat to discuss is former Vice Chancellor of Benue State University, Mrs. Charity Angwe. Please welcome her. Uh, Ma'am, give me the permission to say, like we see on radio, you have 60 seconds. This is Channels Television broadcasting live from Lagos. That's the much we can take on the lecture on managing change in a democracy. We go back to our regular programming now, and coming up next is Business Incorporated. <laughs>